my foreign comic collecting amigos. Uh, today is a very quick video really, just going to show you a couple of books from L. Miller & Co. who published between uh, 1961 and 66 in the UK. The two books I'm going to show you are uh, two issues of Spellbang, which both take their covers from Tales of Suspense. The issues are um, issue number 36, quick look at my notes, uh, which is actually the Tales of Suspense cover number 22, and Spellbang number 40, which is Tales of Suspense number 21. And here is number 36. Gorgeous books. Now, some people call these uh, books sort of reprints, uh, of which they most certainly not. They are indeed UK editions. Um, this particular one, actually both were published in 1963, which firmly put them in Silver Age. So yeah, reprints, editions, I think it's an edition. Uh, Silver Age, 1963, beautiful condition, got it for not a lot of cash, uh, they are out there, they, they do come up now and again, but if you know where to look for, and not necessarily the big uh, auction houses, they are out there. This one, uh, fabulous condition, published by L. Miller, uh, this one is issue number 40 from the same series, love those Kirby Monster issues. This one is um, Tales of Suspense, look at my notes again, number 21. If you have the original of 21, you'll notice that uh, Clagg's head has been redrawn for Spellbound. So again, it's not a straight reprint. It's been altered substantially, making it um, a proper edition, a UK edition. Love the books. A little bit of history with, with Miller um, is that we're talking sort of early 60s they were there uh, as one of the independent publishers of, of timely comics as was then um, all that stopped mid 60s late mid to late 60s sorry you had a, a brain freeze then um, and Alan class came on the scene um, L Miller decided to not renew the license to publish timely comics so uh, everything's handed over to Alan class Alan Class published the books way into the late 60s, um, actually into just pre-early 70s, very early 70s, when Marvel realised that they were they dropped the ball a little bit and uh, basically thought, well, hey, why aren't we publishing our own books in the UK? There's obviously a market for them, and thereby withdrawing the licence from Alan Glass, and thus was born Mighty World of Marvel in 72. Like I said, I'm so sorry, I'm a bit short of time today, but I wanted to get something out there for you to have a look at. So um hope you appreciate what, what gorgeous books these are. Uh, not much more to say about these lovely things. They are out there if you fancy collect the old monster issues. And El Miller did a great job. Right guys, sorry for it being so short and sweet today, but uh, time is trucking on in the uh, in the clan worthing. I have to do a few things today, so uh, Hope you've enjoyed those two books and a very little bit of smashing history. I'm going to talk about the L. Miller books uh, a lot more in the future. Just not today. Cheers, guys. Take care. See you on the flip side.